From the moment the coronavirus was first detected in 2019, GE Healthcare employees have had to work around the world, and in many cases, around the clock, to meet the needs of healthcare practitioners in any way possible. Earlier on today, I spoke remotely to Tom Westrick. He's the Chief Quality Officer for GE Healthcare. And Tom explained to me how his teams have had to think outside of the box when it comes to their manufacturing and global supply chain. Here's what he told me. Tom, good to see you. First off, I want to say thank you to all of our employees, field engineers, and anybody who's in, the, in our plants with our customers and, and exposed to the real world every day. And I, I don't wake up one day and not thank everybody who's in, who's in the front lines of our business. It is, uh, it is much appreciated, and I think about it every day. So the, the whole team has been rallied around how do we maximize our production on the most critical products that we manufacture to support the, our patients and our customers. How do you go from the numbers that, that you were talking about pre-COVID-19 to the, the demand that has now been placed on G Healthcare for those particular products that have come into the fore helping the, the medical staff on the front lines? Um, we all knew what we had to do, uh, whether it's the, the supply chain team, the, the plants, the, the employees in the plants, the working with our suppliers, and that's been a huge effort. And we just really didn't take no for an answer. I mean, we, we had to maximize our production to meet the need in the world. So it's, it's been that mentality for probably three months of what do we need to do and how do we get there? It seems impossible when you start into it, but by the time you work through each one of them with the team effort that we're throwing at this, we've been able to achieve some amazing things so far. There are other products that GE Healthcare make that have come to the fore. There are, and in that would be mobile x-rays, ultrasound, CTs in some countries. There's a lot of different things that, that we provide that have a have a direct or indirect impact in the system to help treat this pandemic. You've got this equipment literally all over the world. How do you even begin to try and pull together a, a, a plan to get that equipment where it needs to go, especially under the conditions of COVID-19? So we've done a great job to the government affairs team of, of working with the respective governments around the world as, as all of these restrictions have come in place to, to make the case appropriately why, why our, our, our suppliers need to stay open and why our own plants need to stay open at the level they are to ensure that we got the supply to meet all this demand and, and save lives. You made the decision to actually charter an airplane to help with that flexibility. It takes one component to not be there to create a problem. You miss a flight, you miss, a, you know, you miss one element of something and it doesn't get on a plane, which means it doesn't get from A to B and an entire line can get shut down. So we just, we couldn't live with the, the uncertainty of, the, of logistics through air normally. So rather than wait and try to make every uncertainty go away and try to manage the unmanageable, the charter really helped us to create, to eliminate the uncertainty. How do you define success in this moment in time? G Healthcare, your role, COVID-19 pandemic. Number one, we've done everything we possibly can to wake up and say we've all done our best. Number two would be to take the good things that we've really learned in this crisis moment and make them part of our normal day to day. I mean, their level of collaboration and coordination and just teaming behavior has never been higher. That's the kind of world we all want to work in. I mean, if, to a person, everybody I talk to says they've never worked harder, but the work has never been better and more rewarding. And how do you bottle that, maybe not 20 hours a day anymore, but how do you bottle that and make that part of our normal company culture in the future would be, a, would be a great output and a win from this. What has been the most compelling moment, if you like, that you've witnessed uh, over the last four to six weeks? Number one is to watch our field engineers go to customer sites every day and keep machines running, fix, fix problems, and put, you know, their first, their frontliners, their first responders, if you will. And we have literally hundreds of volunteers who have left their day jobs to go build ventilators, in some cases in the middle of the night. And, and these were not, no one told them to do it. They, they, they didn't have to. They, they weren't for any reason compelled other than they wanted to. So I've got some people who work for me directly, you know, senior level individuals who gave up their 
their day jobs to go work literally third shift in Madison, drive over in the middle of the night, work third shift, come back and work their other day job in addition. So it's been incredibly humbling to watch that happen. And, and it makes you step back and, and be very, very proud because it's, it's being done for no reason other than to help, help patients and help society. And it's been just a fantastic experience to watch. Tom, I know your work tempo is going to be through the roof. So um, I just want to say a big thank you for sort of giving us that, that high level 30,000 foot picture. Be safe.